To enable.org presents mathematical literacy, patterns and relationships. A constant or a fixed relationship. A constant or a fixed relationship is where the cost remain, remains fixed regardless of the change in the independent variable. Remember, uh, last week we spoke about independent and dependent variable. So in this case, the, the cost is exactly the same for, for every single unit that's added. So every day that passes, the cost remains the same. Every additional thing that you buy, the cost remains the same. Okay, so that's what it means. Okay, so this is an example. To go on a field trip, a school needs to rent a bus. The cost of the bus is 10,000 Rand a day. Calculate how much you will pay if different amounts of children go on the field trip. Okay, so this is the answer. The cost remains 10,000 Rand regardless of the amount of children that goes on the trip. So let's quickly fill a table. If no children go on the trip, we will have to pay 10,000 Rand. But if 60 children go on the trip, we still have to pay 10,000 Rand. Remember, a, a, a bus that you rent or a, huge, a big bus is only allowed to take 60 passengers. So we're not going to see what will happen if we take 100 children because we are not allowed to. So let's represent the situation graphically. Okay. Remember, we need to add a heading to our, to our graph. The independent variable is the amount of children and the cost is the the total cost is the dependent variable so that's why the children goes on the horizontal axis and the cost goes on to the vertical axis okay and this is how we would draw the graph no children we will pay 10000 rand if 10 children goes we will pay 10000 rand if 20 children goes we will pay 10000 rand if 30 children goes 10,000 Rand. If 40 children goes, 10,000 Rand, etc. and etc. So this is a graphical relationship of a fixed, uh, this is a graphical representation of a fixed or a constant relationship. Direct proportion, uh, direct proportion relationship. This is a relationship where there is a constant difference between the terms in the relationship. Okay, so this is the example. To go on a field trip, a school needs to rent a bus. The cost of the bus is 200 Rand per child. Calculate how much you will pay if different amounts of children go on the field trip. Okay, so for every 10 extra children that goes on the field trip, the cost increases with 2,000 Rand. So let me quickly show you how to calculate that 2,000 Rand. Now, it costs 20, 200 Rand per child. Okay, quickly go to the previous. Alright, so it's 200 Rand per child. So to get to that 2,000 Rand, we take 10 and we multiply it with 200. And 10 multiplied with 200 give us this 2,000 Rand. So when we fill, sorry, when we fill the table, we have a 2,000 Rand gap for every 10 extra children. So this is why this is a direct proportion relationship. There is a 2,000 gap jump between each 10 group of children. If we had a table that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 children, we would have had a 200 Rand gap. But here we each time have a 2000 Rand gap. And this is how we will represent the situation graphically. 
Okay, remember, we need to have a heading. The amount of children is the independent variable, so that goes into the horizontal axis. The total cost is a dependent variable, so that goes into the vertical axis. And this is a graph. No children, and then we don't have to pay anything. 10 children will cost us 2,000 Rand. 20 children will cost us 4,000 Rand. 30 children will cost us 6,000 Rand. 40 children, 8,000 Rand. And 50 children, 10,000 Rand. Now, if we compare the two buses, which is only grade 11 and 12 work, which is called break-even analysis, we will see that t if we take 50 children on the trip, it is exactly the same amount to take the bus, to rent the bus that costs us 10,000 Rand regardless of the amount of children, or the 200 Rand per child. As soon as we take more than 60 children, it is cheaper to take the 10,000 Rand bus. But if we take less than 60 children, it is cheaper to take the 200 Rand option, which is still a lot of money. Okay, inverse proportion relationship. This is a relationship where the dependent variable decreases when the independent variable increases. Okay, so if the independent variable increases, it gets more. The dependent variable decreases, gets less. Okay, example. To go on a field trip, a school needs to rent a bus. The cost of the bus is 10,000 Rand a day. Calculate how much you will pay per child for different amounts of children that go on the field trip. Now, this one differs from example one. This is, in fact, example three. Right. Um, because in that one, we had to calculate the cost. But now, in this one, we have to calculate the cost per child. Okay, this is the answer. Okay. Okay, it says the cost remains 10,000 Rand regardless of the amount of children that goes on the trip. But the cost per child decreases as the amount of ch children increases. Right, so how do we calculate these amounts? It costs 10,000 Rand for one child. But if 10 children go, they can each share a bit of the cost. So we go 10,000 Rand. Ooh, divided by 10 children. And 10,000 divided by 10 is 1,000. 10,000 divided by 20 children. Divide by 20. Give us this 500. 10,000 divided by 30 give us 300, 333 rand 33 cents. 10,000 divided by 40 gives us 250 rand per child. 10,000 divided by 50 give us 200 rand per child. And 10,000 divided by 60 give us 166 rand 60 seven rand per child. Graphically, it can be represented as followed. Okay, again, amount of children horizontal axis as that is our independent variable, cost per child, dependent variable. And you see, as the amount of children increase, the cost per child decrease. And this is what a curve will look like for an inverse proportion relationship. Thank you.